again, not the same place, different time, my dear friends. You are doing all right. I will say that you are doing all right. I hope you are doing all right. I will put it aside for now. I'll pick it up tomorrow <laughs> when I do another video. But today, let's celebrate this and let's love it 100%. I am so happy on my team performance today. I have to be honest. I am, I am, I am so happy <laughs> so so happy yes we started so badly it's of course it's chelsea this season we just no good we know that but we kept fighting we kept fighting one two three four five you know three four seven eight something like that if you know what i'm saying <laughs> ten, 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 ten. Ah, things you'll have to see. I, I was jumping. I, I, I enjoy that. I really enjoy that, you know? Like I used to in ten, 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 ten. You can see me jumping. Oh, you can see me jumping, right? Oh boy, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm excited. Look, this is just good feeling. <laughs> this is good feeling. We have been through a lot. We are going through a lot right now. So this is a moment of joyfulness. This is a moment of excitement. This is a moment yeah, we are in the uh, semi-final of Club Cup, and this is what we have. So anyone who, who's going to tell me, yeah, you are celebrating Club Cup, leave us alone or leave me alone. <laughs> I will celebrate. You never see this type of games, you know, especially Chelsea. You just never see it. It's not there anymore. So reaching the Club Cup uh, semi-final, hopefully we go to the final. Liverpool is playing West Ham tomorrow. Let's see if there's going to be some uh, catastrophe up there <laughs> to Liverpool. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful, right? So, let's start with the game first. Let's start with the game. Newcastle scored, right? Very beautiful goal. I don't know how they scored that goal. You know, it's just crazy after crazy. The guy, the Newcastle guy, just passed Thiago Silva. Casado was in there. And then the last guy, Bad Shelly, was just... I saw so many people, you know, blaming bad shady, but things happen. Mistakes happen in football, no? Horrible mistake can happen. He tried to uh, to get the ball, but one of his legs, you know, the ball bounced and then just went to a Newcastle player and then he scored a beautiful goal. And from that moment, the stadium was quiet and the Newcastle fans just making noise and noise and noise. This is what I was hearing. And after that, we kept moving, we kept fighting, right? Like Chelsea do. But the only mistake Newcastle did, they started defending. <laughs> they started defending. They started, you know, just to relax. Of course, they, they thought they won because Chelsea, right? They won 4-1 in the Premier League. So they were thinking, yeah, we're just going to sit back. Chelsea struggle with a team like to sit back. And we do struggle, you know? But I was calling for substitution. I saw in that game, Raheem Sterling needed to come off. Um, we needed to change where the Sassi was, we needed to put Marogusto, and I predicted Marogusto to start, and I don't know why Portugal didn't start him. It's crazy, I, I knew that's gonna happen. I predicted um, Levy Conway to start over there, Ian Madsen came on, and yeah, him, he, talking about Ian Madsen, that guy just tackled him so crazy, that Newcastle guy, I forgot his name, I know him, crazy, and Modric went to grab his neck, you can do that, <laughs> especially if there's Vieira. Oh boy, that would be horrible. There was no Vieira today, but Modric went straight on his neck. What are you doing? But good start for Modric. Good start for standing up um, with his teammates, you know, good, good stuff. Now, that's the leadership, you know, the way Modric did, that's the leadership. You need to stand up. So if Rhys James was in, I expect the Rhys James to do that. You know, to react, you know, you can't do that to my teammate. Good thing here, Modric step up and score a beautiful goal in the corner. Wham! 1-1 one, one in the 93 minutes. That was in the 94 minutes, right? Right when the referee is about to whistle, a final whistle, <laughs> Modric scored. And then the Stamford Bridge went crazy. We went crazy, even me. That's why I was jumping around. We went crazy. I was happy, man. I am happy, you know. I'm, I said I was happy. Yeah, I was happy before, but my happiness is still going up to now. I am delighted with the performance. This is what we want to see, you know. Yes, we're in a bad form. Yes, blah, 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 people are saying stuff. I am so happy, I don't care who's gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. Wow, we are finally, finally showing a little bit of some stuff, you know? We can go 
further in maybe in the final we won the club cup if we win the club cup this season i think this will be a good ending of this season i have to say i won't complain much I won't complain much. If we finish number 10, we finish number 9, yeah, of course, is the situation we are in right now. Nothing we can do about that. It is what it is. But if we finish number 10, we finish number 9 and we won Club Cup, I think that's a good season. I don't know what you're going to say about that. Other team, <laughs> they're still in, uh, they're finishing number 8 or number 4, but they haven't won any trophy. If we finish number 10 and we win a trophy, well, that's a good season for us. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment what do you think. So Christopher Nkunku came in and he changed the game, I have to say. Christopher Nkunku changed the game and as I said, the substitution when we saw Modric came on, Raheem Sterling came off and some of the players, you know, Patricino did good and the game started moving and then finally Christopher Nkunku scored a penalty. That was fantastic to see. But one player I have to mention here is Petrovic. Petrovic, nobody was counting on Petrovic. Everybody, they were just giving him just sparks. Nobody believed in him. Even me, I did not believe in Petrovic. I, I was thinking, oh boy, Petrovic didn't go. <sighs> what am I expecting from him? Well, he saved the penalty. <laughs> the, the other one, Newcastle missed, but he saved the penalty and we won a game. Thing to love to see. I was so happy to see Stamford Bridge went crazy for the first time in a long time. I used to see that in the Champions League, I have to say. Yeah, everybody was just happy. It's just good, man. It's just good. They put smile on our face tonight, I have to say. Chelsea put smile on our face. That was good to see. Yeah, bravo. We are in the semi-final of Carab Cup. Let's go. But let's see who's going to win tomorrow, Liverpool and West Ham, I think. If Liverpool win, I think we're going to face them in the semi-final. If West Ham win, maybe we're going to face West Ham. Fulham won there too, so it's going to be very interesting in the draw. I don't want to face Liverpool in the semi-final. I really don't. I want to face them in the final. That would be nice to face them in the final, but in the semi-final, no. I want to face in the semi-final, maybe I will say Fulham or maybe... Uh, I can take West Ham. They are struggling a little bit, West Ham, so I won't mind taking them. But Liverpool, no. I won't. I don't want to face them. I want to face them in the final, as I said. So, let me know down in the comments what do you think about that goal. And we have to give some kind of players to Modric. He did good. He stood up. He scored that goal. And exactly as I said, I'm starting needed to come off. We did not see any progress in I'm starting. So, Modric scored a beautiful goal. Things you love to see. Let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. Things are popping up right, left, right, and center. You know, as I said, Garaga, Chelsea looks like they're about to sell him. So this January transfer window is gonna be very interesting and we need experienced players. You know, we are calling for that. Please, please sign some experienced players in this January. We don't wanna see kids. You know, 17 year old kid, or oh, Chelsea, they have signed 17 year old kids, or oh, Chelsea, they have done this. We don't wanna see that, please. Experience is calling in the team, please. This is where I end. I will see you soon, guys. Yep, subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss all the sweet dreams right here at Isaac's Football Club. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are, and God bless.